Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. I got this comment on my TT Go Watch step-by-step -step installation, and it was an interesting one to me. The gentleman wants to use the T-Watch with Home Assistant, making it a wearable home automation device. I thought this was such a cool idea, so I went ahead and wrote this T-Watch GUI. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, there's an on-on button and an off button, and then the last command sent is displayed at the top here. Off, on, off. But come to find out, when I uploaded either one of the two Wi-Fi MQTT example sketches I can find, yeah, I went through all of the MQTT libraries in Arduino IDE, and there were only two that featured Wi-Fi with MQTT for ESP32. Yeah, you see here, it worked fine on ESP32s, but connecting to Wi-Fi on the T-Watch, it just keeps going. Yeah, you can see I'm monitoring the T-Watch and serial monitor and the Wi-Fi just never connects. So leave a comment down below if you know the obvious reason why the Wi-Fi in these sketches works fine on ESP32, but not on the TTGO T-Watch. So even though the TTGO watch never connected to Wi-Fi, I still put a lot of work in identifying the sketches and modifying them for my use, in this case, to turn something on and off by publishing that to a topic. We're gonna go ahead and demonstrate this with the ESP32s and MQTT and Home Assistant. So let's go. So I spent about a week going through the library manager and identified two example sketches that offer the compatibility with Home Assistant, transmitting a MQTT username, MQTT password, and a device name. And let's take a look at those two libraries here. First one is ESP MQTT client, and I'm using the simple MQTT client example sketch. This one's kind of cool because it, this block here has all of the input that you need, your Wi-Fi SSID, Wi-Fi password, the IP address of your MQTT broker. There's your MQTT username, password, and the test client. And the thing I did not like about this is they made me try to figure out how this works because void loop only calls client loop. So let's take a look at what I did on the example sketch. Simple client, yeah, down here, after working with this for a while, I figured out, okay, I'll set my payload, message equals on, you call client loop, and then you call on connection established, and that causes the client to publish the topic, Shotoku Tech T-Watch touchscreen with the message. So it wasn't obvious looking at the example sketch, but this worked for me, and we'll demonstrate that in a second. Of course, working with these ESP32 dev boards when you're uploading, when you see it's ready to upload, you want to push the boot button so it'll connect. And I also found that even after hard resets uploading the sketch, I still had to hard reset again to get it to connect. Let's see, I want to connect up to this in yeah, ESP32 dev module on COM9. Go ahead and hide the library manager. There we go, I'm just gonna reset again. We see it connecting to the Wi-Fi. We see it connecting to the host, then the MQTT broker. Okay, so it sent the first payload there to the topic, Shotoku Tech T-Watch touchscreen on, off. Let's go in Home Assistant, take a look here. Watch the center of the screen here, on, yeah. The tertiary is one smart Wi-Fi plug in the 3D printer room. So you see the office light up and tertiary light up on. We'll wait five seconds, two, three, four, five, off. Okay, and we can also monitor the payload of the topic here in integrations. This is where you would install the Mosquito Broker. I do have a video covering the installation of the uh, Mosquito Broker in Home Assistant. So you want to check out my playlists for that. In here, you don't really have to worry about configuring it. It's pretty much just use your default settings. But here, you can publish and listen to topics, which makes it handy to test some of your MQTT scenarios. Let's see. Start listening. Watch down at the bottom here. There we go. We received an off. Two, three, four, five, on. Okay. And then again, we see that turning that switch on and off there. 
on. Two, three, four, five, and off. Okay, so that was the first example sketch. This one here, ESP MQTT client, simple MQTT client. This one actually is pretty robust. It works better than the second one, <laughs> at least today while I'm trying to film the video. I like the second one because we'll take a look at the example sketch first. It actually comes out and publishes within void loop. And I think what hangs it up is I'm actually subscribing to the same topic as I'm publishing to. We'll take a look at that. Yeah, let's go to the top, Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. And then down here, you put in your device name, your username, and your password to connect to a home assistant. Let's go back to the serial monitor. Let's see. I'm going to clear that. I'm going to hit reset. There we go. There's our reset. Now this one tries to publish even though it's not connected. It's connected to Wi-Fi. We're connecting to our host. There we go. It's connected. Show me you're publishing something. Okay, we got publish. Let's go take a look here. All right, off, light it up. There we go, on. We can go back into integrations, mosquito broker, and we can listen to that topic here. I'll show you how to build these automations too, the, what actually turns that plug off and on. There you see I received an on and an off. There's another off. Okay. There's an on, okay, and we'll go here, and we'll see it on, off, two, three, four, five, on, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and see how to configure the automation for this. So you go back into configuration, automations, I have several automations, but down here is T-Watch on and T-Watch off, and let's take a look at how these are built up. It's remarkably simple, you give it a name, I didn't adjust anything else here. You choose MQTT type. I left this trigger ID blank because that's used by trigger conditions. We're not going to use any conditions. Here's my MQTT topic. And if the payload is on, switch the device tertiary, turn tertiary on. Okay, and let's look at the T-Watch off. T-Watch off, edit. Gave it a name, gave it a trigger, MQTT type, the topic, payload is off, turn tertiary off. So it's remarkably simple. So I've showed you example sketches that work with Wi-Fi and MQTT. I've actually published my edited copies of these where I figured it out for you and, and made it into this example of on-off. Um, so you're welcome to check out the link down below to my GitHub site. And you can also go there for the T-Watch on-off GUI as well. I'm going to keep working on that to try to get that hooked up on Wi-Fi. Again, leave a comment down below if you know what the problem is with the Wi-Fi. Let's take a look. When am I missing anything else? Demonstrate each. Demonstrate Home Assistant. It's time for the outro. Yeah. So like I say, leave a comment down below if you can help me solve my Wi-Fi woes on the T-Watch. Give this video a like. And before you go check out my Home Assistant playlist or my TT Go T-Watch playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.